first at noon, working some breaking news. Daniel Lastarza has been charged with murder and hell without bail following an assault that left Jonathan Stack severely injured in the parking lot of a Federal Hill restaurant. Stack then died a few days later. That restaurant, the $3 bar, remains closed following Sunday's emergency board of licenses meeting. Now we are going to police to hear their plan to deal with the heightened violence. Eyewitness News reporter Sean Daly just met with Public Safety Commissioner, and he joins us now live with the very latest from the Providence Mobile Newsroom. Top-ranking officers are working on a strategy to deal with the recent violence on Providence's storied Federal Hill. To you. All right. Federal Hill is one of Rhode Island's best-known and most popular places to eat well. But in the past few years, Federal Hill has slowly been morphing into a popular spot, not just for fancy food, but for drinking and dancing at nightclubs. Two recent fights outside a place called the $3 Bar, one of which left a man dead, and the other, which involved roughly two dozen people in a melee, have left the public and the politicians and the police on edge. Less than an hour ago, Providence Public Safety Commissioner Stephen Perry told Eyewitness News, the police want to centralize nightclubs downtown, not scattered throughout the city. There was a loophole in zoning, so zoning allowed these types of businesses to go not only on Federal Hill, but on the east side and the south side and the west end. Nightclubs. So nightclubs. So we have nightclubs all over the city. We should have them in one zone, one district, and that's downtown. And Colonel, is the only way to address it now, those who are grandfathered in, is wait until they get in trouble and then uh, revoke their license. But until such time as they get in trouble, they're good to go? Yeah, legally they're entitled to it, and we just can't unilaterally take that license back. So if they don't perform <clears throat> like they should, for protecting the public and, and safety, then they may lose their license. And that's... Commissioner Perry tells us comparisons to water fire are apples and oranges. He tells us it would be financially impossible to have as many police officers at all of the various nightclubs throughout the city three nights a week, Thursday night, Friday night, and Saturday night, whereas water fire is only about a dozen times a year. Live at police headquarters with the Providence Mobile Newsroom, Sean Daly, Eyewitness News.